Thank you to all who have been supporting the channel by checking out our merch at rejectnationshop.com and becoming royal rejects. What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Rejoined by our Star Wars sage over here, MJ Tesla, bright and early in the morning for the Star Wars The Acolyte trailer. I know nothing about this. <laughs> Michael knows some things about this. I know a couple things. Either way, I'm excited for it. Guys, want to give another heads up that myself, Michael Tesler, Corey Jandro, and John Humphrey are going to be having a WonderCon panel, 2 o'clock p.m. There's a link in the description box if you guys want to get tickets to it. It's going to be an exquisite, weird time. Yeah, it's a cage fight. Yeah, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be mud. It's going to be blood and everything. <laughs> it's going to be gory. You're going to want to be there in person to witness how it all goes down. But in the meantime, Please use the force to leave a like. I'm excited to see this. I'm excited because it takes place like I know it takes place like a hundred years before the prequels or something yeah, like that. We're, we're in, yeah. the, uh, in the high republic, high republic era. times. I'm excited to see it in live action. Who knows? Maybe Yoda will make an, uh, an appearance. That would be crazy. <laughs> cool. That would be. <laughs> <laughs>'Cause that is who we call those who check out our RR apparel at rejectnationshop.com. We come out with new designs every month or every two months. It is personally my favorite way you can support the channel. Reason being is because we are involved with every one of the exclusive RR designs that are up at the shop. We got a bunch of designs already, such as our Super Marvel Bro shirt. My sister actually designed this one. Deadpool Wolverine inspired, my personal favorite one. But then we also got our like our number one bestseller, the Last Daddy t-shirt, which has Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us inspired, carrying baby Grogu. We have Loki's glorious balloon. We also have our Doctor Who shirt, which is full of a bunch of classic Doctor Who quotes on the TARDIS. We have Space Babies of the Galaxy. We got ourselves some Star Wars inspired shirts. We got a Boys inspired shirt. And we have a House of the Dragon one as well. Pointing those out because obviously we have new seasons of those shows coming up. And then of course, you got a bunch of other designs as well, like our Batverse one, Who Influences the Influencers, another Last of Us inspired t-shirt, and of course, you know, the classic reject symbolism t-shirts as well. Either one is an amazing way to support the channel, and like I said, you get to look good while doing it. So thank you guys so much. Do consider going to rejectnationshop.com, and also tag us on social media if you end up buying a shirt. Please tag us. We'd love to see it when people do end up buying the shirts. Thank you, Royal Rejects. See you guys soon. Okay. Uh, yeah, and having like no information <laughs> on uh, what it was supposed to go down in, in this trailer at all. Uh, just I, I love how ominous and tense this felt. The fight scenes feel like true martial arts action to me. And that, that shot at the very end, the suspicion. Uh, so it's like the rise of the Sith. 
Yeah, it's yeah. it's the re the reemergence of the Sith uh, in the time of the High Republic, which leads me to believe that cool. like it probably has some really neat connective tissue that basically sets up uh, a lot of what goes down in in the originals. Yeah, uh, but man, especially after like playing Fallen Order um, uh, and Jedi Survivor, it was really neat to get to like finally see this in live action i feel like that's the one thing that like not since the prequels has there just been an instance of like six jedi on screen at the same time like Like, one of the video games yeah it's cool uh, like uh but tonally uh, the thing i was most worried about with the high republic is that you know i i think a lot of the books and the materials that they've put out have been skewed towards like a preteen demographic um which is great i'm always a big fan of like as many entrance points for Star Wars fans as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, but tonally, this feels like it's going to get really, really dark. Uh, and that casting is great. And that just to see the Jedi at the height of their power and like a Jedi serial killer, like what a fun, interesting way to explore this galaxy in a way that we haven't before. The fear looked real in the Jedi because they're not used to this. You know, they're yeah. like, why are they killing Jedi? Who is this? Whereas who can even kill a Jedi? Right. I mean, that's yeah. like the, where I they're at that. in terms yeah. of. It's like uh, a, a mystery, too. Even though we have our suspicions and knowledge yeah. for it to be new to them, it puts you in the audience. If, as an audience member, yeah. you live vicariously through their perspective. So if they're feeling the fear, you yeah. can feel the fear. Yeah. And with the day and age with a lot of these Disney Plus shows where you got like stoicism stoicism as, as like the lead characters, you get to feel again like the emotional thrust of that. It, so uh, it creates like stakes. Yeah. So I, I really dug this trailer a lot. Even to establish like to the Jedi of this generation, the concept of Sith, they're like an ancient boogeyman. They're like like fables and legends. Right. It's been so long since there's right. been any it's cool. Uh and I, I think that's so brilliant to just like up and that. Um yeah. God, and that I got, was so good. And I got to say, too, uh, it's refreshing to see something that's not like, of course, it's going to have its connective tissue. Yeah. But it's not just in this this certain, like, you know, 50, 60 years that it keeps staying stuck within. <laughs> it's sure. refreshing to get a different timeline yeah. to focus on it in a live action um, series. You yeah. know, well, I feel like it just gives you so much more freedom to focus on developing original characters and and not being so concerned about threading the needle the way that they have been. Uh, yeah, no, I, I completely agree. And I think what's nice is it it can, in a in a very macro, grandiose way, connect that tissue. But in, in like, a the, the microscopic, like, we're not worried about, other than, like, a Yoda cameo. Sure, sure. There's really nobody else around at this <laughs> point. Um, yeah, and it, it definitely, it gave me so many, like, did you play the old Republic games? No, I did not. Oh, Greg. I've, like, tampered Greg. with them, but I've never committed. That's okay. Yeah. I forgive you. Uh, Knights of the Republic, uh, I think, might be my favorite video game of all time. Okay. Um, I've heard that many times. And and part of it's that just because it, it takes all these familiar concepts and then presents you this entirely new landscape and these like amazingly interesting characters and particularly to explore the jedi because when we you know when we meet them in the prequels they're at the end and they are uh, no offense to the jedi high council but they're incredibly smug and are not oh. able to see beyond you know uh, their own uh, which leaves them vulnerable very, yeah. very vulnerable. And and I yeah. think to witness the Jedi at a point of being in like this height of power mm-hmm. um, where they are uh, comfortable, they are loved, they're universally recognized throughout the galaxy too. Right. I think that was one of the more interesting things, um, you know, like even by the time you get to like the, uh, the original trilogy that like Jedi have become almost like myth <laughs> because yeah. so few people have actually seen them. At this point, the Jedi have enclaves all throughout the galaxy. They have outposts in the Outer Rim. You know, there's Jedi temples everywhere, and they're, like, fully staffed. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm, I'm just so excited to, like, see how all of that connects. I think it will also be really interesting to, like, what are the, like, politics of the time? Like, what does the Republic look like mm-hmm. at the time? And to see that at the height of its power, um, you know, and, and like... 
where are the Mandalorians at? Like, I, like it's going to be cool to see all of these different elements yeah. of the galaxy, but in this very different time. Um, but what's cool is that while there's a lot of potential for connective tissue and additional galaxy building, it seems focused. Yeah. And I, I, at least from a first minute 45 <laughs> second trailer, right? And uh, probably, probably a little too yeah. much like optimism for a minute 45. Uh, and, you know, the last thing I'll say is, though, uh, before we wrap up here, Carrie Ann Moss being able to do essentially Neo powers <laughs> in, in the Star Wars world. Brilliant marketing maneuver for a person like me, man. No, uh, I, was, I, I was so smart. Yeah, I, I didn't know she was in it. <laughs> I had no idea. I well, didn't know anything about the cast. Uh, and and uh, I think uh, uh, there's a certain character from the Knights of the Republic who, like, the casting of this definitely feels intentional in trying to replicate the, okay. the badassery of that particular character. Um, now, granted, it's like a thousand years between, but uh, but I appreciate like the spirit of this sort of because we really haven't seen that in Star Wars, yes, yeah. uh, especially while the Jedi are still a thing. But I completely agree. I think on on standalone merit, like if you were to er, 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 the Star Wars off mm -hmm. of the accolade. I think they're setting this up to be something really interesting and good. Great stuff, man. Great stuff, Great Michael. Stuff. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I, I'm, it's, it's nice to get. I'm so excited. I'm excited yeah. for this. I'm really looking forward to yeah. the Star Wars show. show. What did you guys think? Please make sure to leave your comments below. And don't forget to ring that notification bell with the force if you want to be able to keep track of all the cool stuff that we're doing. And if you want to join this conversation, again, we will be at WonderCon, and it's going to be absolutely magical and probably a catastrophe because a lot of us love to talk at the same time bloodbath let's bloodbath. do it